Hi, good morning and welcome to Morning Glory. My name is Dan Hansen and you're watching the Caribbean Devotional Program. Yes, I'm so happy that you're able to join us this morning. And today we're going to be looking at the importance of discipleship. And so many times we, we hear about disciples, but we want to talk about the importance of having someone discipling you and you discipling somebody as you mature in God. And so joining me today on Morning Glory is Sister Sasha Ann Dixon. Welcome, Sister Sasha, to Morning Glory. So good to have you. Good morning, Sister <laughs> Diane. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure. And just to, to share with our viewing audience that Sister Sasha is a member of the Feast of Esther Jamaica chapter. Yes. And Feast of <laughs> Esther started all the way in Nigeria by Pastor Faluk Adi and it's it's a forum where women like ourselves who are in Christian leadership meet every Wednesday morning to fellowship, you know, and to, to really get to know each other and to grow in the Lord. And so I'm just so happy that you're able to take time out of your busy day to join us today on Morning Glory. And so we're going to be looking at the importance of of discipleship and before we do i want to read a very very famous passage of scripture here and it's matthew 4 verses 18 and 19 and it says as jesus was walking beside the sea of galilee he saw two brothers simon called peter his and his brother andrew they were casting a net into the lake for they were fisher men come follow me jesus said and i will send you out to fish for people at once they left their nets and followed him. I know every time we talk about discipleship, you know, we tend to go for that particular text. And I did this morning as well. But, you know, how important it is for us to follow Christ. How important it is for us to follow him. Sister Sasha. Well, it is important for us to yeah. follow Christ because mm -hmm. what it does, it helps us uh, mm -hmm. to become committed yeah. followers yes. in the word of God mm -hmm. so that we can continue to delve deeper into it, study to show ourselves approved unto God yeah. so that we know in turn mm -hmm. can be, you know, in, ensure that we are discipling effectively. Effectively, yeah. amen. Because when you look at this passage, passage of scripture about the, the, the um, Simon um called peter and his brother andrew i mean they are there fishing and mm -hmm. jesus called them and what amazes me is that they didn't question anything exactly they just decided listen i'm going to follow jesus said mm -hmm. to them follow me mm -hmm. and they drop all they did and follow him how many of us are willing to do that when jesus said follow me i'm gonna lead you down from kingston to, to, to montego bay follow me do we jump what we're doing? I don't and, think and, and, so. and I think typically, <laughs> typically what you find is yeah. a lot of people yeah. who just say, oh, I have this to do first. Excuse. Or, I yes. have that to do first and find a lot of excuses. Yeah. Right? And, and we want to say people. Sometimes we ourselves find mm -hmm. excuse right, or excuses right, right. in us to the reasons we cannot do it. Mm -hmm. You know, we always say not, not no. Why mm -hmm. me? Right. But what I admire about these two disciples is that they followed 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 jesus and i i believe that the the, the, the importance of the sabbath is played out by the 12 disciples that you chose um then because when you look at it sister sasha they all left what they were doing to follow and uh, oftentimes to follow christ is really to follow the purpose and the plan of, of god for our lives right. but sometimes we see it as an inconvenience mm -hmm. to us you know, oh, I was going to go to, go to this, 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 this um, exercise class or, oh, I was going to be going, you know, staying mm -hmm. late. We find so many excuses, excuses right. as to why we cannot follow Christ or we mm -hmm. cannot follow him. No. So I believe that is a good example that the importance of, of discipleship is that we must be willing to follow to follow Christ. We must be willing to be the Peter and the Andrew right. where we drop everything and we move, mm -hmm. you know right immediately right now we move for for god and the key word for that is just simply obedient oh, amen just being obedient. <laughs> just being obedient and and obedience is important but i want us to look at what discipleship is i i, I know you had um a, a definition there yeah. right 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 so the definition i have here mm -hmm. is that 
Discipleship is really the process of helping other people to yeah. reach their God-given potential. potential yeah. You know, basically, it's helping yeah. persons yeah. Um, to become everything that Christ wants them to be. Yeah. And it comes out of the passion that mm -hmm. you have for people. Yes. The passion you have for rescuing the perishing. Yes. Just loving. Just each loving. Other. Amen. And and, and, and it, it, when you say that, it goes back to just Jesus loving us. He says, For he loves the God so loved the world right. that he gave to us his son Jesus who died for our sin. And this is Amen. Jesus who came and, and as I said, he's the epitome of a true a true leader, you know, and exemplifying what it means to disciple others because part of the, the discipleship is being discipled. As yes. well as as you mature in God, mm -hmm. you also disciple Disciples, those yes. you know that need to mature. Mm -hmm. And one of the things with discipleship, it helps to mature us because we look at um, fishermen and we know how fishermen tend to behave. We look at mm -hmm. doubtful Thomas, who God has called just ordinary people and say, "Follow me." Mm -hmm. And what he's saying, when you follow me, I will disciple you. I'll help you to mature. I'll mm -hmm. help you to grow. But I want to say to Sister Sasha that part of discipleship, while it matures us, it also helps to mature others as well. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I'm in total agreement with you. Yeah. Because what it does yeah. is that, um, you know, while you are growing, you're helping somebody else to grow right. as well. Right, it does. And, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing because it tells us, there's a song that we sing so often that says, it only takes a spark mm -hmm. to, to get, get the, the fire, fire going. Right. So I mature one, one person mature one. And mm -hmm. the whole thing about, about the importance of discipleship is the whole thing of transformation. Mm -hmm. Because as my life is being transformed, I'm now required to help to transform um, somebody else's life. And as that person's life is being transformed, yes. they are now required to help to transform somebody else's life. So I like the domino effect mm -hmm. because remember, mm -hmm. you know, these disciples, after a while, they became mature. Exactly. They begin to heal. Exactly. Yes, they begin to cast out demons. demons. Amen. <laughs> yeah, Amen. man, they became radical. Yes. I mean, they had the moments when they fall and they denied Jesus, but they will. I mean, Peter wept bitterly and he repented and he went mm -hmm. on. And so, discipleship is, is really help us to be able to help ourselves, to help others, to build better communities, better families. And so, the absence of discipleship. I believe contribute to what is happening in our society now. Yes, yes, I'm in full agreement with you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. What's happening is that people are not allowed to grow in mm -hmm. wisdom to yeah. mature people yeah. because you don't have somebody pouring into pouring you. Pouring into you. Yes. That's what discipleship yes. is all about. Mm -hmm. Pouring into. Right. And you. Or if even if they don't have, they probably not have the right persons yes. pouring in, as right. in Christians right. pouring right. in, and right. so if. Right. If, if, if the Christian or if the positive infilling is not happening, then what is infilling is the negativity. So instead of going to your 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 sister in the Lord or your brother in the Lord for advice and counsel and prayer, you're probably going somewhere else. Yes, you know, such as YouTube. You know, you, you have some good ones on YouTube. You know, but then you know you have some of those who are yes. self-acclaimed. Right. Right. But then what is critical is for us to ensure that we as mm -hmm. Christians find somebody who is teaching the undiluted word yeah, of God yeah. so that we know, you yeah. know, and, and it's also just, yeah. you know, as you become a Christian, yeah. it's to just inquire of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Holy Spirit, yeah. where should I go? Yeah. Who can I talk to? Yeah. Of course, you know, with the Holy Spirit being in your life yeah. and, and the role that he's playing too, yeah. is that he will also allow somebody yes. to come and pour into you yes. so that you can mature spiritually. Amen, amen. And, and, and that is so important. And I also believe that some of our churches can set up cell, cell groups and, right. and to, foster, to foster, you know, to help persons to grow. Because there are times at churches, or at church rather, mm -hmm. there are some teachings and you want to ask a question or... You go, you need help, and you're not quite sure whether the general congregation that is there in the service you're able to ask such a question mm -hmm. or to get the answer. So we want to encourage our, our, our pastors and our ministers to ensure that there are cell groups, there are discipleship programs there because it right. gives persons, some persons, 
prefer a smaller gathering where they can ask mm-hmm. questions, where they can, whether they're in the in the midst or or afterwards, or they have somebody or a team that they can go to, they can rely mm-hmm. on for strength and for support. Right, right, right. And this is critical, yeah. a critical role too for yeah. the evangelism group within the church. Yes, yes, right, yes. Right, to take on right. this um, right. mandate. Right. So we are saying then, Sister Sasha, that if the, the importance of discipleship is to help with the growth of, 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 of our believers, the growth of and the improvement in our family lives. Yes. We see the breakdown in our society. We see the lawlessness. We see the lewdness. We see so many negative things that are happening. But we are saying today that if we had um, more emphasis on on discipleship, and I'm saying emphasis from our individual responsibility, because mm-hmm. I believe it's our responsibility mm-hmm. to seek after, right. right? To seek after and to get somebody to help us to grow and 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 to mature. And as you said. We can ask the Holy Spirit to direct us to to to, to that person, you know, right. or persons. Right, right, right. And, and I think it it also boils yeah. down, yeah, um, to mm-hmm. true yes. passion, right. passion yeah. for people. Right, passion mm-hmm. to res- want to rescue the perishing, mm-hmm. um, the love for people mm-hmm. in general, and not yes. to want to see people perishing. Yes. You know what I mean? And even. Just the, the just the need to want to just pour into somebody, somebody else yeah. so that they can go and reach their full potential in Christ. Amen. Amen. But one of the another important aspect of of, of, of um discipleship too is just ensuring that we are not being blown away by every wind and every doctrine because sometimes you know, we, you know, especially for those who are young, whether young mm-hmm. in age or or right, or, right. or 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 spiritual, um, or spiritually, is that you don't just watch this person, watch that person, and not knowing the truth, and so you're you're you're, you're pulled by doctrine and not necessarily by the word of God. And I remember just when I was younger, you know, both in age and in my spiritual um, growth. And there are times when I would read a scripture and mm-hmm. I just couldn't understand it. And one of the scriptures, and I'm just being here, is when, when it talks about um, Ruth lying with, with um, when Ruth was lying with Boaz, right, right. you know, I interpret it uh, in a particular oh, way. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And I'm saying, but this is the word of the Lord. How could it be, <laughs> you know, that I was having certain thoughts? And then I had to go to somebody who was older right, and, and, right. And, and say, help me here, Please you know, help me to this. understand. Right. Because even in my younger years, I saw like the word of God as being like to a beam is like God just wants to pull a hand, you know, fist against us. And so I had to get to all the persons within my church to help me to, to dissect the word, to mm-hmm. understand and to embrace it. That God is saying, do not do this from a place of love, mm-hmm. you know. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. You are so right, right. Mm-hmm. So he is saying, yes. as he said, do not do certain things right. just out of love. And yeah. as we talk about love, yeah. it's how you can also go as a disciple. Yeah. Is because you have that inner love for mm-hmm. God, yeah. that inner love for Jesus, yes. you are going to want to study his yeah. word. Yeah. You are going to want to feed on him. You are going yeah. to want to know him. You are going to want to be his friend. Right. And because you want to be his friend, mm-hmm. then you, it will be so easy yeah. for you to disciple others, to be their friends, yeah. to look with donkey blinkers, <laughs> as I would call it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? You know, to see the person, yeah. not the person, you know, yeah. as they are, yeah. but to know that this yeah. person, yeah. Jesus loves this person. Yeah. He came and died for them too. Amen. Just like how he died for you. Amen. And so, you know, it will be easier for you to approach them. As, as you say disciples. that, you know, I, I remember when, um, because some of the, the thing with discipleship is that sometimes the Lord will send persons our way or path for us the disciples and when we look at them we say really Lord <laughs> I, I mean I can pull on another experience when the mm-hmm. Lord revealed it to a young lady that I know that um you know that she was to come and ask me to disciple mm-hmm. and I was almost went into a place of being judgmental and the Lord oh. said no 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 mm-hmm. and oh, often as Christians we do that you know we're yeah, we're yeah persons come mm-hmm. because they're not necessarily mm-hmm. like-minded mm-hmm. we kind of want to push and say no not this person lord send 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 me um 
um, Mary as exactly. opposed to Jane, you know right. what I mean? The but the, 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 exactly. <laughs> and God, so, right? <laughs> exactly. And so they, they, it is important that we not be biased, mm -hmm. but we really say, Lord, help me to open my 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 mind and my mm -hmm. understanding to what you want me to do, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of helping this particular individual. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's important that we not be biased. Mm -hmm. That we we, we, we we really, really see it as a responsibility mm -hmm. as we mature, mm -hmm. that we make sure that we don't turn away anybody. As Jesus said, listen, suffer the little children mm -hmm. not to come to me, right? right. But allow them to come right. because right. such right. is the kingdom. And there are times when there are young um, Christians among us and they're probably still doing some things that we really would not want them or we prefer that they do not do it, mm -hmm. but we can still encourage them mm -hmm. and we can still pray and show them the way and trust the Holy Spirit. Right. And and you know, with and, and um to bring transformation to their lives exactly. in the fullness of time. Exactly. Because what we should endeavor yeah. to do is to not turn back anyone. Amen. 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 Everybody yes, can we, be disciples. Exactly. Whether they come with the hair <laughs> red. Yes. The whole heap of airing up yes, here, yes, no judgment. Yes, 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 yes. Who are you looking at? Yes. A soul. And I want to segue into the point too that that these are some per, these are some individuals that will, can end up being some of the greatest leaders exactly. in our churches, in our community, in our mm -hmm. nation, because part of discipleship is to raise up leaders, leaders. In fact, you and I are leaders in our own right because guess what happened? Somebody invested in us. Amen. Somebody discipled us. Amen. Somebody corrected us when we needed to be corrected. Yes. <laughs> Somebody gave us words of encouragement. Somebody poured wisdom into us. Somebody helped us, propped us up, and helped us to mature into where, where we are. So we're saying the importance of discipleship is to help to raise up leaders. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We see it even within, in the example where we give in Matthew 4, where the disciples were just ordinary men, but at the end they became great leaders. Yeah. I, I know what is good, but I want to also yeah. expound on as yeah. well. Um, you know, while they were there with Christ, yes. and Christ was just pouring into them, yeah. what happened? Yes, they made their little stumbles along the way, yes. but what happened when Christ departed yes. and he gave them that great, great commission to yes. go ye into all the world. Yes. They did, in fact, yes. go with the confidence yes. that was established yes. from when Christ was here with them. Yes. And they went out and yes. they were successful. Amen, amen. And the, the thing about it, you know, we know that as we, because we say that discipleship is maturing in Christ, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's Discipleship allows us to find our purpose. Mm -hmm. At the end, Jesus could say to them, um, in the Great Commission, go ye out, because by then they were mature. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Amen. They would have experienced exactly. certain things. Right. So they can, as he would have poured into them, mm -hmm. they now can go out and pour into others, you know, carrying out the Great um, Commission, telling others about him, um, testifying of the goodness. I can't imagine if Peter would, would have testified and said, Me, I did. I, I, I denied Christ three times, <laughs> you know, giving his account well, of his look at me now. But look <laughs> at me now, yeah. you know, that, that kind of experience. And it's similar to us, you know, those mm -hmm. days I used to tell these lies, but now we look and we know that, okay, no, we're not telling lies anymore, mm -hmm. <laughs> or we're telling fewer lies anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, we are not being promiscuous anymore. That's part of the maturity right, right, right. that comes when we, we, we allow ourselves to be discipled. Right. Yeah. And, and just even to just be yeah. constantly renewing your mind. Amen. That yes. transformation yes. that is so critical. Right. Because you would have seen, as you would have mentioned, yeah. started with Jesus pouring into them. Yeah. Then they became matured, shoot <laughs> off and gone on them own now. <laughs> Casting out demons yes. in his name, yes. right? Working great miracles, right. speaking life, raising the dead, yes. healing. Amen. Amen. Man. Amen. This, these are just some of the steps yes. of discipleship that right. we can look forward to. Yes. And, you know, on, on yes. our own Christian journey. And, and, and what we're right. saying to a person is that mm -hmm. it's, you know, some of us believe that just going to church. Mm -hmm. On a Sunday, you know, listening to the message, giving our tithe and and so on, that that is enough. But we're saying no. Make sure that you are being discipled, separate and apart. Yeah, you're being discipled by somebody so that you can 
maximize your potential. There are so many persons who are, are great. It, it, the world is waiting for you to lead, you know, mm -hmm. lead them in a particular area, mm -hmm. you know, but because you figure that, okay, going to church on a Sunday mm -hmm. is, is enough, so I'll just remain there. Mm -hmm. And we're just saying this to, 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 to provoke some persons to move beyond where they are. Because right. there's, there's, I believe that, and, 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 and I mean, my husband said it so many times, Sister Sasha, mm -hmm. that the, 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 the cemetery is so rich, rich with so mm -hmm. many would have died, mm -hmm. you know, having so much gifts and talents, but they never used it because they didn't have somebody to help to pull it out, to shake it, you know. Yes, I remember yes. my experience, in, in fact, you know, going to New York during a very challenging time in my life. And I was invited to, uh, a fasting service for women and I mean I was staying basically 25 I mean more than like about 30 miles away from from where they were having the fasting service but I made it you know I made up my mind that I wanted to be there mm -hmm. and let me tell you something when I went there I met women that was were able to help to disciple me mm -hmm. they helped to change my mind and let me know that Dan there is more to you than just this and oftentimes Amen. with the lack of, 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 of discipleship we just settle mm -hmm. you know we just sit there and we just think that that's enough and what does it require <laughs> you being intentional amen come on amen. my sister amen. being amen. intentional amen. amen being intentional and, and and that's where we want to leave persons here with um this morning just being intentional just knowing how important it is to make sure that one you allow somebody that God will place in your life to disciple you. Mm -hmm. And as you grow in God, that you also pass on that baton mm -hmm. by discipling others. We're, 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 we're basically benefiting from, all, from those 12 disciples, basically, because they were disciples. They took the Great Commission. They carried it out. Mm -hmm. We are able to, where our lives are being impacted them. We can too impact other person's life because we are disciples. Mm -hmm. And God is asking us to make sure that we follow him, that we obey him, that we make sure that others know about him, that right. others live their full potential, that great leaders, you know, will come from, from within the body of Christ and bring transformation to our nation. As we wrap up this morning, my sister, we just want to pray with those who are watching this morning and say, listen, I want to be intentional about mm -hmm. my growth in God. Yes. I just want to invite you, Sister mm -hmm. Sasha, to, to just pray as the Holy Spirit would lead you, you know, so that we can we can we can see the result. There's so many, there's so many homes that are broken. There's so many family lives that are broken. There are so many communities that are broken and city because of the lack of discipleship. Discipleship is so mm -hmm. important. And I wish we had the time to go right, into right, it and right. delve. But we are saying that when you have the right people mm -hmm. guiding, mm -hmm. it makes a difference. And that's what we want in our nation. And I just wanted to add one yes. quick point before we get into prayer. Yes. You know, just to let our viewers understand yes. in discipleship yes. that, listen, not everybody is going to stay with you. So Amen. you go, just like Jesus said in his parable, yes. the seeds were thrown. Yes. You're a seed planter, yes. right? So you throw out the seeds, yes. you tell them the undiluted word of God, yes. you give them yes. a reason for the hope that is in you. Yes. And if they hear it, they hear it. If they don't hear it, they don't hear it. Amen. But if you can get one out of that four yes. and lead them Come on. into their full potential, yes. then it will be worth it in the end. In the end. Amen. Glory to so God. That, I'm going to just ask Thank you to bow your heads with me with us in prayer. Yes. God, we just want to glorify and thank you this morning for what you have done, for how you have just shown our viewers, Lord Jesus, you know, what it is to be a true disciple and how it is to continue discipling, yes. Lord God. And so, Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord Jesus. We want to just thank you that you are just imparting this knowledge. Yes. Father God, we pray now, mighty God, that your people will be hearers. Yes. that they will be doers, yes, that Lord. they will not just have faith without works, mm -hmm. mighty God. But Father God, to continue that great commission, that mandate that you would have given us to go into all the world, mm -hmm. teaching, baptizing them in yes. the name of oh, the Father, Jesus. Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Father God, give us that love. Yeah. Give us that passion that we desire, mm. Lord God. You, Father God, that we need mm. so that we can just lead one, yeah. help one to lead the other and have a ripple effect mm. of saved souls for your kingdom. Father God, we pray that the, these words will not go void, Lord God. I would pray that it will just, you know, help somebody to consider consider yes. uh, have i been that true disciple yes Hallelujah. help us to ponder lord god because yes. it is critical in such a time as this lord yes, lord as a father god we ask for you mm. your holy spirit to just yes. resonate with us lord god Hallelujah. and to fill, fulfill us lord god mm. that we will go out as good soldiers of the cross in jesus name so let it be Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Sister Sasha, for joining us it on has been Morning my Glory. <laughs> Soft spoken, but, but <laughs> let me tell you, solid, solid, solid woman of God. God bless you, my sister. God bless your family. And we just want to say to our viewing audience today that we trust that this word, though somewhat, that it will really resonate in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit. Listen, we have so much work to get to, 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 to do and let us just make sure that we spend the time that is needed, the quality of, quality of time to do the work of the Lord. He said the harvest is what? Plenteous. Plenteous. And, and the, the laborers, the laborers are, few. are few. Listen, join the pack because mm -hmm. uh, Discipleship is so important. Let us rescue, Let us rescue the, perishing the perishing one by one. One by one. And then two by two. Amen. Then three by three. Then four by four. And sooner or later, we'll have a better world because we would have played our part in advancing the welfare of the whole, of the whole human world. race. God bless you. You have been watching Morning Glory. God bless you. And I want to say thanks again to Sister Sasha and Dixon for sharing with us today. And if you have been blessed, we invite you to take the time, send us an email or give us a call. We want to hear from you. And of course, if you have truly, truly been blessed, please make a contribution. The information is at the bottom of the screen. God bless you. God keep you. May space shine upon you and may continue to be gracious unto you and to grant you his peace. God bless you. And thanks again for watching Morning Glory. Take care. Bye-bye. Let it rain. Pour your rain. Let it fall on me. Come on, say it. We're in your prayer. Let it rain, cause you rain.